Today, we will be going over our Walmart repricing tool. But before getting into that, I'd first like to go over the Walmart buy box. Similar to Amazon, Walmart uses a concept called buy box, where a seller with the best offer is listed as the default choice for buyers. If you are winning a buy box, your offer automatically goes to a cart when a buyer clicks the add to cart button. There are several factors that determine who wins the buy box. However, the most important factor is the price of your products being the most competitive. In this video, we will show how our repricing tool can automate the adjustment of prices and help you win the buy box. Here is the repricing page under tools in the Walmart Geek Seller panel. On the left hand side, you can see the title and SKUs of the products that you have in the Walmart Geek Seller panel. Next to that, we'll show the product status, whether it's published, unpublished, or still in the draft stage. Next, we have the current price in Geek Seller. This is your price in the Geek Seller panel. And these prices are determined by the repricer using current market conditions and your parameters. And if they are adjusted, they're indicated here, adjusted by repricer. Next, we move to you. This is the current price that Walmart reported is your price in walmart.com. Next is first. This is the price of the winner of the buy box. Second means that this is the second place, but not the winner of the buy box. Next, we move to difference. This is a calculation of showing how far your offer is from winning the buy box. If this shows zero, that means you won the buy box or you're the same price as the buy box winner. Buy box, yes or no indicates if you are winning the buy box. Then we move to the parameters here. Minimum is the minimum price that you want your repricer to be set. Maximum is going to be the maximum price that you want the repricer to be set. And we will never put your product below the minimum or above the maximum. Next, we move to bid. When a repricer adjusts the price, it makes your offer different by the bid value. For example, if a bid is $1 and the winner of the buy box is $10, then the repricer will try to adjust the price $1 below the winning price to get you the buy box. We normally recommend this value to be around 50 cents. Our repricing tool adjusts the prices as soon as Walmart notifies us about any change on the product page. We use several sources to get this data and the delay in our system is very small. Here is bid up. Now you can turn this on and off. This is a functionality that allows your repricer to increase the prices of your products if possible. For example, if you are winning a buy box at the price of $10 and the second price is $15, then the bid up functionality will increase the price of your offer to $14, assuming that your bid value is set to $1. The item will be $1 below the competition, being the lowest price, allowing you to win the buy box. The value to which the bid up functionality can increase prices is limited by your max value. Bid up interval. This is an interval in amount of days. When you put zero here, the repricer will try to use the bid up functionality anytime the market conditions allow it. If you put one, we will not increase the price of your products more often than once a day. We normally recommend to keep this value one or more. Lastly here, we have disable. This is where you can turn on and off the repricer per product with the click of a button. You can also see the repricing history per product here by clicking the repricing history button. When you click this, it allows, or it brings you to the repricing history for this product. Everything is chronological here to match the graph. As for example, you can see on November 15th, your price was $31.93. The buy box price was $31.98. Everything here will be shown here in this graph above. Feel free to visit geekseller.com for more details and contact our support team if you have any questions.